Hi, and welcome back to Just Drawing, Google Drawings with Mrs. H. What I'm gonna show you right now is lesson number two about stickers. So if you loved making your own stickers and you have that special sticker paper that you can put in your printer um, so that you can print and make your stickers, um, but you're thinking, you know what? I would really like to maybe use a picture from my phone or that my mom took, or I wanna use a, a picture that I drew and turn it into a sticker. Well, guess what? That's what we're gonna do right now. So um, here are two stickers. This is a picture of my cat, and then this is a picture that my uh, four-year-old daughter drew of a dinosaur. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of these pictures really quick. You can delete pictures by clicking on them and then just pushing the word delete. All right, let's get started. Now, step number one, you have to have a parent help you upload a picture to your computer. So here's what I do. I take out my phone and I email myself a picture. Now, once it's in my email and I go to open it up, um, it's gonna look like this. So if I click on it in my email, I've emailed it to myself, here it is. Um, what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna click this button. It looks like an arrow, it's pointing down. And when I click on that, that downloads it to my computer. Now, once you've downloaded it to your computer, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this picture. You can insert it in onto any Google drawing page. So all you have to do is click the word insert. You're gonna go down to the word image and instead of going search the web like we did to do our other stickers, you're gonna put upload from computer, that first one. Now, if you just downloaded it, it should be the very first thing that pops up right here. Now yours might look a little bit different. So this part might be something where you need a little parent help. Every computer, the way it uploads looks different. Um, but if you download it to your computer and then you click insert and upload from your computer, you should find it. You're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click open. And voila, you have a picture. Now that you have put your own picture in, now that little button will pop up that says mass image. So look, right now, gone, now it's here. So I can click this little arrow, and then I can come across and I can find something and I can mask the image. And then I can go ahead and resize it. Maybe I wanna make it a little bit wider. Uh, and maybe I want to print this on vinyl sticker paper and then I can stick it on a water bottle or on my laptop if my parents say that's okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can upload your own artwork. So if you love to draw and you wanna put your drawings and make them digital, you would do basically the same thing. You would take a phone or an iPad, you would take a photo of your artwork and then you would email it to yourself. And then once it's in your email, you're gonna click on it and you're gonna be looking for the button right here that looks like the download button. You're gonna download it. It will now be on your computer. So then you're gonna come up here to the word insert. You're gonna click image. You're gonna slide over to upload from computer and you should find it. Now, some of you also, if they're on the desktop, if you know how to get your computer onto the desktop, um, something else you can do is you can just drag and drop them. So I have a little picture right now on my desktop. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag it right onto my screen. Look at, you can see there's a little plus sign there and then I just drop it and it makes it for me that way too. So if you're able to figure out how to do that, that's another um, option for you. So this is a, again, a little uh, dinosaur my daughter drew, my four-year-old drew. And um, I wanna turn this into a little sticker for her. So I have it here. Um, once I'm clicked on it, it has those blue lines around it. Then I can come up here to the little arrow and I can click mask image. The other thing I can do is I can crop it. So this picture was actually a little bit bigger and I use this crop image tool that's right next to the arrow. So if you click on it, you can see these little black lines appear. And if you wanna crop something out, like maybe you made a mistake over here you don't want or you just want it to be closer to the image, what you do is you look at my arrow. So right now it's that kind of arrow and then look at how it changes. Then I can click and then I can drag and you can see that gray line that's coming in and I can kind of get rid of that. Oh. I made a mistake. This is the most common mistake. When you're dragging, sometimes the whole photo moves. If that happens, just click the undo button and then you can try again. So you're getting that arrow and then you're gonna drag. There you go. Do you see how it kind of looks like a shadow back there? Um, where when I did it this time, it was white and that means I moved the whole photo. So if you accidentally move the whole photo, just click the undo button um, and then you can do it again. So let's see. Do you see how, look at how you can see. So I'm cutting all that off. 
If that's the way you want it, all you have to do is just click somewhere and now it's gone. Then you can come up and as long as you're clicked on the picture, so if I'm off, it's not there, I click on it, I can come up to the mask image button and I can come get a shape and there you go. And now you can print it out on sticker paper or vinyl sticker paper, cut it out and um, you have stickers made out of photos. Have fun. I had fun drawing with you.